Hey there, Chad Bonger here for High University Libraries. If you're looking to open a restaurant, you'll probably want to understand the demographics of those potential consumers of your restaurant food. So this video is going to show you how to find demographic information for restaurant goers, restaurant eaters, whatever you want to call it, diners, and uh, in a database called MediaMark Reporter or MRI. So here you go. So if you're looking for demographic information for people who eat out frequently at family restaurants and steakhouses, MRI has your data for you. This is a sample report here. It gives you information as far as who eats out, when, um, uh, uh, their ages, occupations, household income, things like that. And so this video is going to show you how to find this information in MediaMark Reporter. So when you get to MRI, what you want to do first, if you haven't done so, is register for free, and that will send an email to your Ohio email address with your account information. So you can just basically log in with your email address there once you register for free there. So I'm going to log in as me. I've already registered, so you need to do that first before you're able to actually log in is register with your email. So I'm going to log in as me here. It's going to take us to the MRI homepage here. I'm going to ignore all this information over here on the left-hand side, but I'm going to click on Media Mark Reporter right there on the right-hand side. All right. Uh, on the previous screen, it's going to ask me to actually um, um, agree to license conditions and things like that. So we've already bypassed that. Once you get to this screen here, you're probably wondering, what in the world do I do now? Well, all I have to do is click on the Fall 2011 product. And if we wanted to, we can go down here and search by product, for example, particular shampoo or particular kinds of beer or that sort of thing. I'm actually going to browse because actually um, it's kind of in a weird place, but restaurant information is actually located in the leisure and sports area. Okay, so we're going to click on Leisure and Sports, and you can say here's information for people who visit any restaurant in the last 30 days. Here's demographic information for those kind of people. Okay, but let's go down and look at these family restaurants and steakhouses. Okay, so here we have information for people who um, uh, bought the last six months total. If we wanted to, we could say well, let's look at heavy users, people who eat out a lot, you know, four times in the last uh um, 30 days, uh, which may not seem like a lot, but that's what they're measuring there. You can also go down and look by a particular restaurant. So if you wanted information for people who ate at Caraba's Italian Grill, uh, this gives you demographic information for those folks who eat at Caraba's uh, Italian Grill in the last six months. Okay. Now what you're going to look at here is this column here. This is giving you the total number who have eaten at Caraba's in the last six months. So this is 7 million people. This number here is going to remain the same whether you're looking at Caraba's or you're looking at like salad dressing. It's going to remain the same there. So primarily going to be concentrated in this area here, the projected number who have eaten at a Carrabba's in the last six months. And you can go down and see by age category, things like that. So a good way to get information on demographic information on people uh, who eat out a lot or at what kind of restaurants they're eating out at. So now this won't necessarily tell you by location, so you can't really compare this to, say, for example, Parkersburg, West Virginia. But what you could do is look at demographic information here and then compare that same demographic information to what you find in the census. So that would be a great way to look and see how national trends might be used to understand your local trends based upon this demographic data compared to what you find in MRI for those restaurant categories. Hopefully this video helped you with your research. If you need more help, look for the contact link on the business blog. I'd be glad to help you any way I can. Take care and best of luck with your research.